we're gonna be treating the goats for worms and coxie so we're gonna be giving them all of their medicine today right now we're actually in the breeding stage where the boy is with the girls so we're hoping to get them bred within the next month or so hopefully they're already bred we're not sure but uh, we need to treat them to make sure that all the moms are good and healthy so that's what we're gonna do today we're gonna take you along let's go <laughs> Okay. Come on, girl. Open your mouth. Oh my goodness. Come on. Let me take a breather. Walking up those stairs. Really, whew. I'm huffing and puffing here. <laughs> I wanted to go over why we choose to deworm the goats with ivermectin rather than trying to do something natural or organic. We've had goats for many, many years, and throughout the years, if you don't properly deworm your goats on a consistent schedule, your goats can get overloaded with worms and they will die. If you're also trying to breed your goats, you need to also make sure that you're deworming. They can have miscarriages because their worm load is just way too high. It's too much stress on the body and it just taxes their body of all of their minerals and nutrients. And for Coxie, we have to give her a, a shot for the dewormer now. I also have my ivermectin here, and I'm gonna be giving them a good dose of this as well, because you wanna make sure your goats are dewormed properly. And I... Good girl, Dottie. Good girl. All right, let's grab the other girl, because she made an escape. You notice that your goats are eating a lot of food regularly but they're just not putting on weight and they look really skinny that's usually because they have an overload of worms Where'd she, go? she ran So we choose ivermectin. Uh, we had our vet come out here back in last June. She gave us the ivermectin and she also gave us the treatment for coccidiosis. We also give them that treatment as well. And if we notice anything abnormal, we'll usually uh, give them another dose of those to make sure that the goats are healthy. Open your mouth. <laughs> I can't open this mouth. He's keeping it shut. He's like tightening it. <laughs> he won't open his mouth. He knows. <laughs> Come on, Quick. bud. Is that in? Okay, there we go. I heard him swallow. All right. I normally only deworm when they absolutely need it, but I think this is one of those circumstances when everyone should get dewormed. It's because we had a tragedy on the homestead, and I'll tell you about that. So basically what happened is we noticed that one of our goats, actually the most dominant goat that we have, her name is Honey, we noticed that she was very weak looking because when they look a little lethargic and just not well, we usually know that it's probably worms. 90% of the cases, that's usually what it is. Now it could be coccidia or it could also be goat polio, but she didn't have any of the signs of those. So we were able to just um, put those aside, honestly. It was devastating. All right, bud. Good. Now let's get the other mommy and babies in there. Not only was Honey dead, but we didn't even see really any signs of what her illness was. And we didn't really have any time to get down there and treat her before she passed away. Now this is a huge loss on the homestead because Honey is one of our main breeding females that we use to breed every summer. So she's a very young goat. So it's really disappointing, super sad, not a good day on the homestead for this to happen. That's why we went ahead and made sure we treated all of the goats for anything that it could possibly be. Now I'm also going to get them some of the drench, which is like a B vitamin supplement that I can give to them to make sure that they're all up on all of their vitamins. They do have goat minerals that, they're, um, that they eat freely. Hey Violet. Okay, open her mouth. Let's give her some of this first because that one's already full. Come here, open up. Other than that, 
wasn't really anything that we could have done because it happened so suddenly. And that's one of the things that happens on a homestead is sometimes everyone looks great. And that's the thing about goats too, that um, they can look great and healthy and spunky and come out and look and the goat could be dead. And it's there's no explanation and you don't really have a reason why. She's good. She's good. Go on, Violet. Should we go inside and get mommy and babies? Let's go in there and get the other two. So we went ahead and treated everybody just to make sure that if anything was going on that we got everybody taken care of and hopefully we can prevent any more deaths on the homestead. but it's something that happens and we just have to be prepared for it you just have to brace yourself that sometimes your animals will die and despite all of your greatest efforts it just sometimes doesn't work and uh sometimes you don't have any explanation as to why sad day but life goes on okay good girl mama look get your good girl good girl all right Now as for everybody else, they're all healthy. Everybody's looking really good. The buck is in with all the other girls. And so hopefully they're already bred. If not, maybe soon. Uh, he's been out with them for a little over a month. So I'm hoping everyone's bred and everyone's doing well. Well guys, if you found this helpful, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Stay peaceful.